Hey guys, this is Andrew Richardson at Andrew Point from MMA Mania here at Capital Strength and Performance for another Fighter on Fighter Technique highlight. Um, so this time we're going to take a look at Francis Ngannou, former heavyweight title challenger. Um, really powerful athletic guy, um, on a bit of a skid right now, uh, but we'll see how he bounces back from that. Now, Ngannou is a really patient fighter. Uh, he stands at range, he has, I think he has a, above 80 inch reach, um, and he makes the most of that distance. Uh, a lot of times his fights, Ngannou is real patient and he waits for his opponents to come to him. Um, and once they do, he's going to look for the uppercut. That's uh, his money punch, and we're going to talk about how he shifts off the line. So a lot of times, he kind of has his hands real wide, he'll throw a jab, maybe a hook. He doesn't throw a lot, which is a problem for him. Um, if you wait and make him come to you, he's not so threatening. But what Ngannou wants is his opponent to overcommit. Since it's heavyweight, mostly to a right hand or a power punch of some kind. Um, and what, what Ngannou does a lot of times is it'll be a left-right and he shifts over his hips. Um, so against uh, Overing, for example, Overing came in with a right, the left hand missed, but now Ngannou shifted over his hips. Ideally, his head is off the center line, it may or may not be. But once he's over this hip, he can fire an uppercut. Um, I think actually that was our last week, that took uppercut. Either way, um, it's this shift uppercut. Uh, something Ngannou does that is fairly uncommon and unique to him is two uppercuts. It's the same kind of idea in that when a punch comes, Ngannou shifts over, uppercut, shift over, uppercut. Um, this is Ngannou's bread and butter, butter his main counter punches. Uh, it's what wins him fights most of the time, and if he wins against the wrestler blades, it's very likely the uppercut will come into play.